Well, the GOP candidates were asked about funding for Ukraine uh, on Wednesday night. KT, watch. Is there anyone on stage who would not support the increase of more funding to Ukraine? We would, would not support it. Europe needs to step up. I mean, I would have Europe step up and do their job. Right, Mr. Ramos. I also asked 2024 presidential candidate Mike Pence about this yesterday. KT, listen to this. I believe it continues to be in the interest, not only of freedom, but of the United States of America, that we give the Ukrainian military the resources that they need to repel the Russian invasion. This is really about preventing a wider war for us to give the Ukrainian military what they need. What do you think? Look, there's a divide in the Republican Party and probably in the country of what's the mission here? For a year, this has been a deadlocked war. The Ukrainians had a spring offensive which failed. And so it's now, it's now deadlocked. It's a war that's not going anywhere anytime soon. So I think what you're starting to see is a lot of questions, including from some very conservative pro-military people, saying, well, what's the goal here? Um, it looks like unconditional surrender isn't going to happen. It doesn't look like Putin is going to be overthrown. So what is the goal? A negotiated solution? How are you going to get everybody to the table? You know, the Biden administration has been very clear that it doesn't want to have a negotiated solution. They want to keep fighting. But to, to what end? And I think there's a lot of dissatisfaction, especially after the 20-year forever war in the Middle East, where we kept fighting, you know, it's going to take a little more time, a little more money, a little more this, a little more that. And yet for 20 years, we were fighting a war we couldn't win. So the criticism you're seeing is not so much about we don't think Putin's a, a good guy. Nobody thinks Putin's a good guy. But what's the goal? How are you going to achieve it? And at what cost? Because a lot of what's happening now with Ukraine is the other countries in Europe are not anteing up, as they originally promised. And we're de depleting our own military readiness to supply weapons to Ukraine at our expense, not only at our financial expense, but at, I think it's certainly at the expense of our own defense efforts to protect ourselves. Well, Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley did clash on Wednesday night over foreign policy. Watch. There you Under have it. your watch, so you the will make America is, less safe. You have no foreign me, policy experience, and it shows. And you know <laughs> KT, she let him have it. <laughs> Final thoughts. <laughs> Somebody needs to do some real explaining about the, what the Ukraine policy is. How do you stop them? Look, the way you end this war within two months is to stop the war on American fossil fuels, let us produce all the energy the world needs, simple supply and demand, prices drop. Vladimir Putin has no extra money to pay for a war because he's paying for this war with his oil and natural gas sales. And if you have high oil and natural gas prices, he has enough money to do it. Take that price down. He's broke. He can't fight. He has to negotiate a solution. War over. KT McFarlane, it is great to see you. Thank you for being here. <laughs>